3x minus 2 equals 8 and x plus 1 equals 1, what value of x satisfies both equations above? Oh, okay. Uh, I'll grab that one since, you know, I made you guys do all the work <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> that sounds fair. Okay, okay. I'll take it. So, um, they want to know what value of x works for both. Now, you would assume that that just means they both have the same exact solution. Um, but one thing to know about these types of equations um, are that they actually both, uh, they usually have two solutions. Um, and so what we're probably looking for here is um, one of the solutions that's the same on, on both of them. So we'll solve them both and then we'll look at what we have. So the first thing that we'll talk about is what are these bars, these little lines. They may look like parentheses. Uh, but like somebody forgot to curve them or something. They are, they mean a little bit more than parentheses. Uh, what they are, are they're called absolute value. Um, and let me just kind of break these down just a little bit um, so we know why we're doing what we're doing when we solve. So the absolute value, um, what it's really referring to is the distance of something from zero. So distance from zero. And what I mean by that is um, the number line. Or if we're doing an absolute value um, on a coordinate plane, it's the distance from the origin, from just zero. Um, so here's just an example here. If I were to ask you, if I were to say this, the absolute value of three. If you think of a number line here, and here's my zero, one, two, three, this is, the three is actually three spaces from three. So our absolute value of three is three. Okay, maybe sounds weird, but um, where this starts really making a difference is if we look at negative numbers. So let's say I were to do the absolute value of negative three. Well, what that's really asking is what is the distance of negative three from zero? So well, we can even look at that again and count. So one, two, three. It's three spaces away from zero. So that means the absolute value of negative three is three. Where I'm going with this is when we start to get to equations. So let's say I said the absolute value of some unknown thing is going to be three. So that means the distance of something is three. So what is it that the distance of is 3? And actually, you kind of saw my examples up there. We actually saw that x could be two things. We saw that it could be positive 3, because that has a distance of 3. It could also be negative 3, because that also has a distance of 3. So these absolute value equations actually have two solutions, um, one on the positive end of the scale and then one on the negative end of the scale. So when we solve these, we're going to have a positive solution and negative solution. So over here, if I go to this equation on the left here, what we're saying is something, this 3x minus 2, is going to have a distance of 8 from 0. So what that means is 3x minus 2 could be positive 8, because positive 8 is an 8 away from 0, or 3x minus 2 could also be negative 8, because negative 8 is 8 away from 0. So we kind of bust into two equations at this point, and then we can drop those absolute value signs because um, we're, we're really uh, showing the meaning of it when we bust into these two equations, positive 8 and negative 8. So from here I can just solve, well, what is 3x minus 2 to give me a distance of 8? I'm just solve the equations like you would solve any algebra equation. We're going to isolate the variable. So then I get 3x is equal to 10. And then dividing by 3, I get x is equal to um, 3 and 1 third. You could say 3 point, you know, 3. And then over here I'm going to solve this one. So adding two, same steps to solve, which is kind of nice. We end up getting 3x is equal to negative 6. And then divide both sides by 3 and I get x is equal to negative 2. So these, both of these solutions, and we could go and plug them in, I'm not going to just for the sake of time, but we could plug them in just to make sure that when I do plug in that value for x, we're making sure that both of them have a distance from 0 of 8, you know, or equal 8 or negative 8. 
We could do the same thing with this other equation, and the way that that would work is I'm going to say x plus 1 is going to be a distance of, or it's going to be at 1, or x plus 1 is going to be at negative 1, because, again, we're talking about distance, and negative 1 is the same distance from 0 as positive 1. So solving these equations, so I'm going to subtract 1 from both on this one, and I end up getting x is equal to 0, and then over here, subtract 1 on this one, and I get x is equal to negative 2. Now, um, although the solutions are not both the same on them, you actually kind of you see it right here. It's this negative 2 works for that equation, and negative 2 works for this equation. So if we made x negative 2, that would be a solution for both of these absolute value equations. So hopefully that helps, and then also hopefully that helps with understanding what does absolute value mean? And then you saw the procedure and the process to solve them. We solve for the both positive side and we solve for the negative side. And hopefully you saw why. So, there you have it. <laughs> Very nice.